NASA is gearing up for the next test of its Mega Moon rocket. Mission managers gave an updated timeline of the wet dress rehearsal today. The rocket was rolled out to the launch pad last week. The wet dress rehearsal begins on Saturday. Crews will start fueling the rocket at 7 Monday morning. Fueling is when crews discovered a faulty valve and a small leak back in April. If the next attempt goes well, the uncrewed test launch to the moon could happen as soon as late August. It is just one of many things happening at Kennedy Space Center, the historic site looking to the future of space with a new astronaut training academy. Kind of cool. Sierra Space plans to build the center pioneered by a former space shuttle astronaut. Here's News Six's James Sparvero. Space should be for everyone. Space for everyone that will require training. So Sierra Space, the company behind the Dream Chaser space plane, says it's building a training academy. Would it be a fair comparison to say it's like a new space camp for adults, for professionals? I would say yes, it would be a sophisticated space camp. Retired NASA astronaut Janet Cavandi helped build the International Space Station. Now the Sierra Space President will help train astronauts to build a commercial space station. And go to a destination where people can live and work. So the training academy is to get those people ready to do those jobs. Complete with crew quarters, like NASA's facilities, Groundbreaking at Kennedy Space Center is expected by the end of the year. And in addition to professional astronauts, Sierra Space says it will also train specialists in research and manufacturing and space tourists. No estimate on ticket prices yet, but Sierra Space says the first professional astronauts will be picked next year, followed by training and construction of the Orbital Reef Space Station starting by 2026. Before the commercial station, Cavandi says Dream Chaser will fly cargo to the ISS on its maiden flight, now expected next year. I cannot wait to have another space plane touching down at the former shuttle landing facility. It just really opens the door for more and more people to experience what it's like to be in space. On the Space Coast, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news six.